you were doing stand up at like eight years old. Is that true? I was. How is that possible? Where are you doing this? I was too fat for T ball. <laughs> like, did you try to go for T ball, or you just didn't even try for sports? I tried, um, but the asthma and the weight it just didn't. Asthma, overweight, <laughs> great. Just living with your mom, your dad has nothing to do with you. I mean, these are these are things that would fuck up almost anybody for sure, right? Yeah, being this way is going to be challenging. Like, yeah. This is going to, and, and I think I, very soon after I made a decision that like, as an overweight person, true or not, this was what I thought. You walk into a room at a detri- like at a disadvantage. People make a snap judgment about you that you're, you know, slothful, you lack control and that it, it was incumbent on me to win them over. And I think that's what inspired comedy and whatnot. Cause I was like, how do I. Even I just I don't even want to be thought of as great. I just want to be on an even playing field as everyone else. So you thought if you were doing stand up comedy and you can kind of show them up and kind of say, "Hey, look, I'm not that guy. I'm funny. I've got I'm creative. I have talent. I have all these things. So don't look at me as the fat guy. Look at me as a creative, funny. Yeah. You know. And what would you make like in your stand up? Would you use your weight as part of the? joke uh, you know yeah like i had you know uh, uh, i'm sure they, they probably had it in indiana entomans um it was like store brands yes, and pastries yes yes i don't know if it's big on the west coast but you know it's like store brand danish and donuts and huge on the east coast and one of my jokes when i was like 10 years old was i at school i major in entomology the study of entomans <laughs> <laughs> coming out of a, a little fat kid's mouth they were like oh this is genius this is great so I, sh- I surely was like, I'll make fun of myself first so you don't have the chance and in doing so, hopefully win you over. Wow. Mm. And this is something you were telling your mom at a young age, I want to I do stand up. Yeah. I mean, she was, my mom is like the ultimate sort of vaudevillian. I mean, she's, she's 77, right? So her contemporaries were Mel Brooks and right. Carl Reiner and the true greats of comedy. But she was like the self-made businesswoman um, a female in the workforce in the seventies and eighties who like had to deal with a lot of male bullshit and dealing with like Wade and just all this stuff, all, all these challenges. So I would watch her take over rooms. Like she was, she was always, very confident, always ready with a joke. Oh, it just like a natural. And performer. she was overweight. Yes. Very overweight. Always. Like you talk about with weight watchers. She was very heavy. She would vacillate. Sometimes she would be totally like at a normal weight and it was great. And then she could put on a, a good amount of weight quickly. Right. So it just was it yo-yoed throughout my whole life. Did she date? Did she date? Did you see other men that came into the picture? Or would... No, never. <laughs> she, what? Oh, she's giving me that movie line. Like when I, you know, when you were born, like that ended for me. She never dated after you. Not so you don't think your mom, since she had you at 43, has had sex in 30 something years? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about it. I don't know. I mean, I think probably, but it's like it was probably she was in such survival mode my whole whole life, and I was just her her utter focus that if she did, I'm hoping it was just a, a quick fling and I hope they were nice to her. <laughs> I hope they use the rubber. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesus, I don't need another one of me out there. My God. Well, how did it all start? Like you started doing comedy. Your mom notices he's got something. He's got a spark. He's funny. Yeah. And then what? what you you went to an agent. You had a, how'd you get an agent? I so I was reading. Did you ever when you were starting out as an actor? Did you read Backstage Magazine? Of course, New York. Yeah. Yeah, I was not. I was eight or nine years old, and this was before stand up. And I find this guy. In the classified, Sid Gold at Gold Star of Entertainment. Course, Sid Gold. Still around. Reps Jennifer Lawrence now. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jennifer Lebowitz, though. <laughs> well, that's represents. who Jennifer Lawrence was. <laughs> sure. Exactly. <laughs> no. um, but yeah, so he, I go in and, and I meet him, and, and the ad's like, I represent people of all ages, and, and he's a sweet guy, and he says, Listen, I can get you placed at, maybe Caroline, stand up New York, I can get you a little stage time. So if you can put together an act, five minutes of comedy, I will get you stage time. How do you, and how old are you? Eight, Not, eight nine? or nine, yeah. But how do you get into a comedy club? Isn't it like alcohol and things like that? What do they want a kid who's eight or nine up there? So I started at afternoon shows. So try oh. doing stand up at two. Yeah, nobody there. Terrible. Terrible. 
So I do those, but it was like a shtick. <laughs> I just had this vision of you. I just said, so anyway, uh, Entenmann's and uh, okay, nobody? How's the chicken tenders? Yeah, exactly. The thing about Pokemon is like, you know, <laughs> can't do any crowd work because no right. one has has my references. Um, but yeah, and then as I got better at it and I there was like, oh, there's like this kid comedian who's got this shtick. Like maybe we can we can sandwich him in between real comedians at 11 o'clock at night, they would have to sneak me in so they wouldn't lose their liquor license. Wow. Yeah, like through the back door. Anybody famous that you'd go after that you could recall or that was up that night? I'm trying to, no, I mean, I remember I was on a TV show with with a young before half-baked Chappelle. Really? And I was like, I'm a comedian too. He's like, okay. What was that? All It was, the, the TV show was called Fox After Breakfast. Fox After Breakfast. Tom Bergeron. Really? Was and the Chappelle host. was on that. Yeah. And how old were you? I was 11. I'll show you the picture. It's great. Oh, I have to see it. And it, and Chappelle was there. He Chappelle couldn't have been older than 24. Do you remember him being very funny? Were you like, this guy's really funny? Yeah. I mean, I think at that time I was like, oh, this guy will get to my level eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you were cocky. Yeah. I mean, I was just like, it, the beauty of that age where as soon as you're good at something, and especially like, it wasn't being good at athletics at that age where you're probably good amongst a lot of good kids. I was such an outlier, like a good comedian, at a, you know, a good 11-year-old comedian was so rare. 